started getting jobs. Yeah, I started getting jobs. We started getting jobs. We started having kids. And we started working and started buying cars and going partying and going to clubs. Y'all was the first ballers, right, in like hip hop oh, history. Oh, yes, we were the first ballers. <laughs> right. We started uh, like crave, dancing, craving, all that. We couldn't stay in our parents' house you know, at the age of 18, 19 years old and not doing nothing. Right. So we got jobs. Right. Right. So we got older, we got a little wiser. Right. So we got older, we got a little white. Oh, one of the leaders of the Black Spades gang, one of the biggest gangs in New York, ruthless gang in New York, the leader of the gang. So, you know, we concentrate on the Spades and the Spades uh, contributions to hip hop and how everything played out. Yeah. Okay, so it just now. Posts this, uh, I seen KRS one. Yes. And I'll let you listen to it. Um, Again, I'll let you listen to it. KMS1 says in 1974. Larry, he saw what hip hop was back in 74. And he told all the gangs in New York, listen, the more we shoot robbing and stealing and killing each other, none of us are gonna be anything when none of us are gonna go anywhere. Everyone agreed. And they formed a new thing called Zulu Nation. Within Zulu Nation, which is all these gang members that just put down the rag, put down the gun, and they said, we're going to do something positive. The whole city of New York, if you could just imagine that for a minute. Thousands of people that were part of different gangs fighting each other. This dude, Africa Bambada, comes up and says, we have a new plan. You could change your life by becoming an MC, a DJ, a B-boy, a graph writer, and so on, and you don't have to die in the street. All the gang members said, yes, we're doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard KRS's thing. Right. Bullshit. It's bullshit. I mean, you know, you don't know what he's talking about. And, 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 you know, here's the thing. What I have seen is people want to romanticize and glamorize the origins of what came to be hip hop. Okay. Okay. Right. And it doesn't need to be glorified or romanticized. And that's not just about hip hop. That's history in general. Right. You know what I mean? You get people who want to romanticize elements about history where they distort what is the truth because they think it's ugly, it doesn't serve their purpose, whatever it is. Right. Okay. Number one, and I need to say this very clearly, Bambada himself, who I've known for over 40 years, right, right has never, ever, 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 ever made the claim that he stopped the gangs in New York City. Mm. He has never made the claim that he, you know, told all the gangs to put their guns down. Mm. He has never made that claim. But the man himself has never made the claim that he was Supreme President of those days or anything like that, or president of that division, or that he stopped gang violence. He's never made that claim. So KRS and M and the other media aspects, they want to romanticize and glorify all that thing because very simply they weren't there and they weren't part of the down and dirty aspect of it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They weren't a part of it. Okay. Okay. And KRS, mm -hmm. he wants to position himself, present himself as quote unquote, he calls himself, he calls himself a teacher. The teacher. Good for you. Right. Good for you. You don't impress me. Right. You, you do definitely do not impress me.